What's up everybody? Welcome to Oreo Oration. I'm Greg Miller, and while you were out living your life watching that Captain Marvel, the fine people at Oreo were making endless variations to Milk's favorite cookie. So thanks to your support on patreon.com slash kinda funny in January 2019, we brought back Oreo Oration for one more season. Thank you. Uh, if you, we give you tasty reviews without any calories, all that jazz. If you like the video, uh, or if you like this show, I guess, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Today, we're reviewing chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos. Now that's a mouthful, and as you know, We've had other versions of chocolate on here. We've had the Reese's uh, uh, peanut butter cup Oreos before. We've of course had peanut butter Oreos on this show before. Peanut butter and chocolate and Oreos, they've been around the block quite a few times. Here they are in one cookie. Now, what I would like to point out, of course, is that Oreo Ration, of course, started as you know one of the founding shows of Kind of Funny when it was just me, YouTube.com slash Game Over Greggy. Nick and Tim would come over. I'd force them to watch me eat Oreos. We'd put up the things. They wouldn't even accept money. Now, of course, Kind of Funny's blown up thanks to your support on Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny, and that's why we're back now. We got eight employees. We have three contractors in and out every week. This means there's more people than ever in the office, which means we have an Oreo Ration first. Of course, we're into the first look now where we open up the package, see how they came, how they shipped and everything. You might notice something about this package. Someone's already opened this package and begun eating them. That's never happened before, ladies and gentlemen. That's never happened before on Oreo Now I've slacked out to find out who this was. Here's what I'll have you know when I look at the Slack. Uh, no one's responding to the threat. Here's what I will know. Unprompted. I, without telling them why I was asking, I asked Kevin and Bear Bear, hey, you ever had these cookies before? And they said no. We were waiting on you to get into them. So they don't know. Now you gotta turn your eyes to their back room. Nick? Nick, did you eat these Oreos off my desk in a moment of weakness? Why would I, I went, why would I eat the Oreos off your desk in a moment of weakness? I had, I went to five different places for the carrot cake Oreos last I time. hear you, but you, I don't know. You saw them out there. They were on my desk for a while getting ready for this shoot. Maybe someone opened them up by accident and then realized. So here, here's before. where it goes. I don't, Tim doesn't eat. He, it's not him. Cool Greg, Cool Greg, there's not a chance in hell Cool Greg would do it. Now you gotta start asking, why would Joey be back there and would she open these Oreos? I don't it's think possible. she would. I don't, it's possible. Right now, Joey number one suspect. But you know who I'm putting at number two? Mm. Gary Whitta. Yeah. But you know who I'm striking off immediately? Gary Whitta. He wasn't here last week. And he was in here a short time today. Would Andrea Renee have been so bold? I'm just saying. I'm gonna open it up for a first look. We can't trust anything. We don't know the bouquet anymore. I won't, I can't harm it. What the fuck? Oh my God. Oh my God. You son of a bitch. It was you, Nick. It was you, Greg you sucks. son of a bitch. <laughs> Greg sucks. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? Touch that game, man. Streamies. 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 What's up? What's up? All right. For the record, everyone at home watching, that was not planned. For by me, I had no idea that this is what it would be. That Greg sucks KFAF for streaming. And I'll tell you whatever. They and what else? They do smell good too. The bouquet is still there, and it is pungent. It is peanut buttery. Uh, we want to look in there. I wasn't expecting this. Actually, yeah. I, ladies and gentlemen, it's another first. This is the first time Oreo Ration has ever, or I'm sorry, Oreo has ever lied to us. Look out. at right here. Just pull them out. They pull, show. Pull one out. Show, look, they show, do you understand? This is a breaking news item. Yeah. Okay. They show the Oreo as you'd expect there. The graham flavored cookie, the peanut butter and chocolate cream, right? You open it up, look, it's a surprise. It's not what you'd, it's not an Oreo. It's a Nutter Butter looking guy. <laughs> it might actually just be a Nutter Butter. <laughs> Why don't you respect the sanctity <laughs> of Oreo Ration? Oh How'd you fit them in perfectly? They look perfect. They just do it. It just worked. Do we have these cookies? Yeah, I bought a second pack. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Oh, we got him. That's how, oh, that's how got the cookie him. crumbles, man. Oh, oh man. man. You got to get up pretty late in the afternoon to get one over on the old KFAF crew. Oh, my I want to thank Barrett for that. Uh -huh. I want to thank Big Old Kev Dog for that. Mm -hmm. I want to thank um, 
the people over in Diamond Heights, uh, over at the Safeway over there, who sold me those Nutter Butters. Oh, okay. They yeah. supplied the uh, They supplies. supplied the Nutter Butters. Got they it. supplied the peanut butter chocolate Oreos. I also want to thank Oreo for making those peanut butter and chocolate Oreos, because I have eaten all of them now. Oh, okay. I destroyed the yeah, carrot cake no. ones. Just fuck those up. By the way, uh, well, what's up, everyone? I'm Nick. I'm Andy. You're watching KFAF, the show that was formerly known as Punked. Um, <laughs> man, we did a whole series of Oreo orations. Uh, if you guys didn't know, that was one of the things we did back in anniversary stream. Said, hey, we're going to bring back all these fun shows. You guys funded it. We shot Oreo oration. But Andy and I were like, how do we fuck? How do we continue this campaign for both the streamies yeah, right, right. and fucking with Greg? I mean, I got to give it to you, Nick, because this was all your brainchild where you said, I want to fuck with Greg. And it was one of those extra things where I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to go down. Yeah. And I was scared. Yeah. Because... You were recording, you walked out of the room, and you were like, he's about to do it. Like, you kind of signaled, and yeah. I was like, oh, I got excited, I got my phone out. And then I see the Slack message, where Greg Miller said, who the fuck opened the Oreos? <laughs> and, and immediately I was like, oh no, we're busted, we're, yeah, busted. we're busted. Like, all this plan has gone to shit. But it wasn't that he thought somebody was fucking with him. It's that he was like, he thought who the well, he fuck? thought one of the, our, the the fucking grubby cubbies like myself in this office. Guys, stare. What's up? I saw him start. Oh, I, I it's the first him. time he got mini cabin on this show. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I saw him. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. I want to hug him. I want to hug him. Don't touch me. Come hug him. Get him. Fuck him up. So you saw this cat. Wait, what What happened? You stepped out. I walked in, I saw him pick up the the Oreos mm -hmm. and feel the like the weight. Like wrong. feel them, right? Yeah, he, yeah. You could tell his face like went shocked. He looked at the packaging, noticed that it was torn, I immediately turned around. Yeah. Started just grabbing wires. Just, oh yeah. yeah. Just I was just picking he was up cables. I was yeah. so scared. Kevin Ruka, I'm gonna turn off this this amp. And we'll play it acoustic. I'm Don't not, worry. I'm not getting any. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's all just, me. It's fuzzing as it's that. It's just fuzzing. Uh, yeah, the thing was this. He now Greg is a very smart man. I would right. say he's probably arguably the smartest person in this office. But his ego gets in the way. Mm -hmm. See what 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 we what he didn't account for. What I couldn't have accounted for. Okay, I just had hoped for was that he would look at it. And I, when I opened it up, I saw. I was like, shit. There's like a safety thing where it rips off and you yeah. can't get it back. So I just cut him off. I was like, maybe he won't notice. But the thought process was, if he does notice. He'll probably want to like like call it out in the very public manner and embarrass oh, someone yeah. because he's not one to just pull you aside and be like who the fuck opened his orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the second he started talking, I was like, he's not gonna open them. He's gonna try to get a gotcha. He's yeah. gonna do a gotcha. And you know what happened? It was a reverse gotcha. His angle was somebody wanted to have a little snack here, and who the fuck was it? Yeah, I'm gonna but fucking call you out and make it. Was KFA was for streaming, dude. KFA for streaming. Burn blue. Burn blue. Burn blue, dude. It's yes. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, great show for you today. Yeah. Of course, we can't get into things without continuing this, I mean, a riveting competition that is connect between three and five. Well, again, uh, hold on, Nick. I'm going to need what? your help with this because I, I turn off the amp because I'm just getting a lot of fuzzies. Do you want to bring the back? The wiring's kind of fucked up, so I'm going to need you to your microphone to get near okay, my guitar. Okay, here. I got to get in here. So, uh, but I, we have to sing quiet, okay? okay. So, go for it, Andy. Go for it, Nick. Go for it. Connect between five, you got more than three, but fewer than five. Go for it. Did you fuck up the lyrics? Well, it's grammatically, it's fewer than five. Go for it, Andy. Go Actually, that's for not it, true. It's Nick. Left. Go for it. Connect between three and five, sometimes you want it's more than three. Oh, sometimes it's pre recorded. Sometimes I fucked up the lyric there. Did you see that? Yeah. That's because I screwed you up with the grammar thing. Sometimes it's pre recorded. Sometimes it's live. Go for it. Connect between three and five. Go for it. Between is it fewer or less? I think if you have a number, it's less, right? Well, it's is it less than five. It's I before E, except after C. Mm -hmm. Receipt, not spelled the way you think. Why? Sometimes Recipe, well. same spelling as receipt. Sometimes All right, let's well. go into this bad boy. All right, let's get into it. Kevin, do we have the intense music? It's playing right now. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. I love it. All right, so I have a conundrum here. No, no, no. Well, Nick, okay, yeah. First ever conundrum here. Nick, I, I, know, I know that last week... You were kind of, uh, you know, there was a lot of drama happening. Well, we had so. probably what, the best moment on KFF yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, which was, shall forever be known as the Barrett the moment. The Barrett, the yelling for Barrett moment. The yelling for Barrett now, moment. Now, in that moment, Kevin, Nick, Kevin, replay that moment. Great, good job. Thank you. Here you go. So, in that moment, Nick, you may have uh, noticed right. that, um, that you have... Don't, you know what, here's the thing. I don't want your psychological mind. Right, 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 right. Okay. Because because I see you over here trying to win. Right. Okay. Like now it's can, possible you can easily win here. Yeah. Because you're going first. But, but if but if I win, I have, but I gotta block you first. 
You see what I'm saying? Wouldn't you prefer to block me is the thing. The thing is this, I can't win knowing that you've gone unblocked. Right. Do you yeah, see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like, I feel like you're playing a game with me. Because who knows if I can come back? Exactly. Right? Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. how this game works. I didn't yeah. read the rules. I'm sure they're here. I'm sure they're here somewhere. They're on it. They're on it. So I'm gonna, I have to do this. I'm gonna block I think you. that's the wise move, you. dude. I gotta block I you I think there. that's the wise play right there. Right? And Now, if you weren't a fucking coward, you would leave that open for next week so I could win. Here to henceforth, Yeah. I will block you. How about that? I mean, fair is fair. Fair is fair. We're friends. Mm -hmm. We're probably gonna get McNuggets later. Fair is fair. Do you ever want a McNugget again after last week's episode? God no. Because I ate one yesterday and I, I fucking threw up in my mouth. God no. A lot. Ma no, ma uh, just remember, I can win right here next week. Will you remember, or will that sort of? Uh, How are you so good at this game? <laughs> I'm just fucking. What the I'm fuck? great, dude? I'm great. What do you want from me? Wait. <laughs> Every week you got a shot to win this I've got thing. Angles, man. I've I got know. Angles. We started this as a joke, but you're coming at me all hot now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like it. But thanks, thanks for blocking me, though. I appreciate that. Man. All right. Well, you know what? Block is a block. Uh -huh. A scrub is a scrub. A girl mm -hmm. is a girl. A scrub a scrub. So next week. Next week. Always known as a scrub. Uh, before we move on to our Photoshop challenge winners from this week, or submissions from this week, I want to take a second to thank Patreon producer David Mindtel. Mind mm -hmm. Last week we talked about your love affair with horses. Mind that's freak. Not what, that's not what you talked about. I mean, he just he loves saving little baby don't, horses. Don't phrase it that Put, way. Putting them in a cage, whipping them a little bit. No. I don't know what Dave does on this time off, but we like to appreciate you for what you do with your money, which is help support this show. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support this show, you can go over to patreon.com slash kind of funny, back us at the bronze tier, be a part of this show. Uh, later when we ask Andy anything, uh, we're going to get some hot advice. Got a lot of good ones for mm -hmm. you this week. Uh, you guys can submit that. And of course, if you want to take part of the show without giving us your hard-earned dollars, that's cool. You can submit Photoshop challenge ideas and help be a part of the programming in this and fill up a good... What, 10 minutes of the show? Yeah. We make you, we make the audience work. See, streamies, we're fucking genius. We don't even do anything on this show. Other people do stuff, they give it to us for free. It's great. We take it. It's great. We credit them. We put them on t-shirts, we the sell hard. the t-shirts. Thank you for the hard work, yeah, You yeah. see this Pokemon thing right here? I didn't do that. It's got a dope beat on it, too, if you go to, if you go to the Instagram you can page. Hear it right Pokemon, oh, man. Too? Pokemon's great. You're singing it too. I didn't fucking think you I fucking love Nintendo. You know, uh, I love every game. Me too. Game. All right. Last week we put the call out largely because someone made a mistake, and I thought, hey, I'm not. You know, happy mistake is what they call it. Mm -hmm. Happy accident. You ever you ever design something? You go, oh shit, and then you look at it, you go, oh that's cool. A little time. happy accident. Last week we had a happy accident. I can't remember who did it, but he thought the theme was '80s movies, '80s action movies. So we said, screw it, let's just run with that. Why I not? love '80s action movies. Mm -hmm. uh, later. Andy and I are going to record uh, a little show called Nicknames that we're bringing back, and I'm going to make Andy guess. I'm going back to my original format where I put posters in front of you, and you have to guess the name of the movie from the 80s and what the movie's about. Oh, free. I got some okay. real easy ones for you to, to easy in, then I got some real, real hard ones. Okay. When are we going to roll that show out? Probably not for six months. Should I have told you about that right now? I don't know. Nope. Is Tim going, God damn it, Nick? Yeah. He's not watching the show. Yeah. No, he's got better shit to do. We All right. edit this part out. No, we're not editing this shit out. The only thing we're editing out is the 15 times we tried to start the show. I was like, Kevin! And Kevin's like, shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> I'm trying to start the show. <laughs> he hates me so much. Yeah. All right, with Kevin. Good, with good reason. Oh, God, I know. Well, I'm, like I said before in the other video, one day Kevin's just going to come in and be like, and we're going to walk in, all the shit's going to be gone. You're annoying. And I'm going to like, well, yeah. Kevin sold everything finally and moved to Barbados. Mm -hmm. Good for him. Yeah. And I'll follow him on Instagram, like his likes. <laughs> like, like his pictures, you know. Hey, sure. You look good. He's just got all the Keep cameras in his house. Keep it up. <laughs> good job, Kev. Uh, all right, Kev, you ready for Photoshop challenge? Mm -hmm. Challenge was out. Number one comes from Mr. Yasman 300. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> First <laughs> Oh, what, this time he's fighting for his life. The, uh... First Blood. It's Rambo. Oh, yeah. great. It's, uh, the original Rambo wasn't called Rambo. It was That's called First right. Blood. That's right. And he right. played a character called John Rambo in it. I, I really appreciate uh, Yasman's attention to detail with like getting this sort of gradation He got the on gradation the face, on the face. You know? He nailed that. This is number one for sure. And we've only, <laughs> I mean, we've only seen one so yeah. far, but this is going to be hard to beat. Yeah. Now I, now, I want, I, now, I want you guys to say before we go on to the next one, Barrett said, John Simone... Is he saved John Simone's for last because he came correct this week? Oh, okay. John okay. Simone been knocking it out of the fucking park every week. So well, let's now see you're, if he's you're the sort guy of hyping it up for me. Well, we'll see. Okay. And Barrett hyped it up for me. John, if you failed us, you failed us for the last yeah. time. <laughs> Force choke. Number two comes from Paul McGrath. Satisfied? What? What? 
Oh. Well, aliens. Oh. oh. It didn't automatically jump out at didn't me. Didn't hit with me. What I needed. The font's very familiar, though. Font, yeah. yes. What I needed was the jaw, the dog to come out of the mouth, the dog's mouth. Oh. That would have been oh, great. Yeah, yeah, I liked yeah, yeah, the yeah. drool, though. That's the what, drool's that's good. Really, yeah. Couple more jewels. I thought maybe it was like Turner and Hoops. It is really off off putting to see a dehued uh, porty. Yeah, it's like, like he's old and dead. No. Well, hey, come on. You were going there, Jason Das, no. one of the Adidas brothers, has given us this. Oh my! Oh no! There is just no. Thank you. Is that Joey? Yeah, it's <laughs> Joey and Andrea. Is that Joey and Andrea? <laughs> I hate it. Oh, I love it. This, this one got me. I, hate I fucking it. love it. No, thank you. This is great. Okay, Move number four on. comes from Marcus. Oh, wow. <laughs> Heikula. <laughs> That's awesome. This is pretty good. That's great. This Too is real hard. good. That's good. That's real good. No such thing, though, I would say. Barrett. Kevin <laughs> Quella. This sucks. Greg Miller, between three and five stars. Okay, awesome. That's solid. That's solid. I love it. Uh, pretty good job. Okay, Ben at Please Be Excited on Twitter gave us this next one. Okay. Hopefully. Not an action smovie, but still got me with the cool. Well, still an eight. There's some action the happening in it. Awesome. The, yeah, the hair on Cool Greg as Roger Rabbit is a great attention to detail. Now, the Milk Mommy face on Jessica, Jessica Rabbit, Rabbit ruins Jessica Rabbit's forever. 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 Yeah. All right, let's take a look at number six. <laughs> number six comes from Matt McDonald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I want you to know, Andy, this was going to be one of the posters. That I was gonna, I was gonna ask you about. Okay. For nicknames. Okay. And it's ruined now, but it's great well, that I don't even know, know what it is. Don't mention it. Like I don't even know what it is. Do you want? I have to tell you what it is. You don't. Do I not have to tell you what it is? No. I don't think you do. Well, in order for you to understand and judge it correctly, don't you need to know what movie it's aping? Absolutely not. No. Fine, then never mind. Yeah. Then just look forward to this Rainbow? ladies' gentlemen. I don't know. Close, but no. Okay. Don't no cigar. Tell him. Okay. Number seven. Greg, D- Greg Miller's a de- disease. Meet the cure. I like that. I like that. That. Idea. That's. Fair. That's cool. That is fair. It's a really cool job. Uh, all right, number seven comes from the Sad Clown. What? The, what, what? Oh, this is uh, Mad Max oh, Two. Mad Max. Ace in the Hole. Uh, Road Warrior. The porno. The porno. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Okay. I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> I respect how big the Ace's head is on uh, on on Mel Gibson's body. Makes me think like, what would I look like if I was six two and skinny? You Maybe like that. Six two. Keep dreaming. It's know? pretty tall. Maybe six. Six one, six two, something like that. All right, number eight comes from Robert Simpson. Oh, this oh, is wow. just good. This is just good. Wow. Wow. The 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 outline on everybody to kind of fit in with the with the art style. This is very well done. The font on the bottom. Look at Andy's face. This is really good. Oh yeah. my god. Wow, Andy's face is great. Tim's great in this. Wow. I mean, this not not knock you over the face with humor like uh, like like Yasman's. No, it's just but impressive. But this is really good. This is like just impressive. I like this a lot. Again, yeah. people, you don't have to go for the easy joke of the milk yeah. mommy face. I'd prefer it if you did, but you don't have to. No, I think this is a great job. I think this is really good. Adding the milk mommy would have ruined it, honestly. That's fair. This is really well done. I mean, this might be my new. This might be number one. Number one. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, Ben Fair- wow. Fairhurst gave us our number nine really submission. Oh, okay. Oh, man, this is okay. really well Milk Trouble in Mom's, Mom's Basement. What movie is this? I'm not telling you either, because that's another one of my posters from Nicknames. Okay. Tonight, so you can't, you, you won't know that. That's the the title on this one's a hit, okay. right? but, but we'll, we'll go into the, that. This the, is great. Yeah, Milk Mommy in the back reminds me a lot of Rita Repulsa yeah. in Power Rangers. That's fair. I think, I think that character is played by Victor Wong. Uh, I, I do like that they integrated me as Lickitung. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Tim's in the back there. Uh, Greg's one it's, of the. It's, uh, it's it's a weird one. I don't love it. It but would I don't be. Hate it. Let's put it this way. It would be an amazing one if you knew the movie. Also, and this person knows that I. This is one of my favorite phenomenal. movies of all time. Huge problem. They what? spelled Johnny Ace incorrectly. Where <gasps> they didn't put an H. It's they put J O N N Y. That's the Brit- That's the French spelling. Oh, okay. Yeah, when he's in France, they spell it different. He has a different passport too in France. Wow, yeah. really? Wow. Well, because he, he's not actually Is licensed. That legal? He's not licensed to practice medicine right. in France. Yeah, yeah. But they let him. Oh, okay. It's just like a, hey, dude, be cool. You no, know? you're good. You're good. We get it. Yeah. Hey, man, my foot hurts. Yeah. Can you get Jeanne? <laughs> Jeanne? <laughs> Let's go to number ten. Jesus All right, Christ. number ten comes from John Simone. Now this has been hyped up. It's good. This has been. It's a real up? good. Oh. Oh wow. Shit. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. shit! 
This is really good. Fuck! Our, I our, thought. Our, our cup. Cup, sir. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's really, really good. Wow, John, you did not disappoint. Uh, it's really good submissions this week. Yeah. But I gotta be a hundred percent honest. That's fucking dope. I want that poster. This is my number one. This is your. Well, of course, it's you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was it right? I think I would have liked to see your face desaturated like the rest of everybody's faces. I think it's great though, but look at the glasses. Yeah. How those reflect. Can we zoom in on the glasses? Are there reflections there? If the Milk Mommy reflections there, I'll be fucking really impressed. <laughs> this will be the winner. No, they're no. just normal. This, I mean, this is great. This is incredible. Yeah. The, the, he matched the grain perfectly. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't know. This is my number one. It's between these two. Yeah, these I mean, two are I love both Mr. Fantastic. Yazman's also. Number I love Mr. Yazman's. Which one was Mr. Yazman's? Number, one, number one. one. So it's between number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's hard. John, it's hard because that go, it's hard. This is a hard this one. This one's just so well made. Yeah, this one's so well made. This is my number one. This Indiana one? Jones is my number one. Yeah. Okay. But also, that's a picture of you, not Johnny Ace. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. It says Johnny Ace on the bottom. I mean, but it just makes sense that it's Johnny Ace in The Last Crusade. Okay. Why would Johnny Ace play himself in a movie? Yeah, you weird. Know? Johnny Ace would play me in a movie. And you would play Johnny Ace? He can play anyone. He's yeah. a chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. A karma chameleon. Chameleo! Yeah. I mean, I, mine's, I mean, I, this is hard. Number 10 is my, my Indiana winner. Indiana Jones is my winner. Okay, so you got Indiana Jones. I got uh, Rebel Cop, Beat Cop. Barrett, where are you at? Uh, it's... It's fucking hard. I think I have to. I think I have to decide with Andy, though. I think the the Johnny. Two is. for John L. A. Esquire. Okay, uh, uh, Kev, are we gonna tie this up? What are we gonna do? Yeah, I gotta give it to RoboCop because that one did it for me. Do we need Shit! A All right, two winners then. Uh, Greg's probably no. watching. Do we want to just wait in silence for like thirty seconds, see if he comes over? Uh, we could do that, or we could just do again. I mean, we make the rules on this show. It's true. And there's no reason why we can't reward both of these people How and also put Mister Asman's on my. <laughs> On my Instagram, because you know that's fucking great. Yes, Three way tie. I say yes, man, take over the deer. No one will oh. ever take. Why do you hate love? I just, just yeah, slap what? Him, right? Slap him. Slap him. I just think it's good, man. I think I, I'll really enjoy yes, man. All right, you know what? Whoa. I respect you, Andy. Whoa. Dude. I respect your oh, energy. Oh, shit. Let's let's we'll trade them all out, man. Oh! Let's get them all back there. Let's get them all never back there. Never before seen. Never before seen. We're two hundred episodes into the show. I said that we would never take the deers away, but that Yasmin picture needs to be up there. Three ways. Go for it, Nick. Go for it, Nick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I will go for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's also possible that I could just shrink them down and put more posters back it's, there. It is, a, it is literally an After possible. Effects file. Yeah. Uh, all right, everyone. Well, that's it. Thank wow. you so much, uh, Andy. What a moment. God damn it. What I do a this moment. Every Thank week. you for all the submissions, guys. Well, what's the theme? I do it every week. Yeah. I forget the theme for next oh, week. Oh, somebody, oh God. What was it? We S had one. Somebody suggested one to me last night, and I don't remember what it Thank was, you, Nicholas. Real Fuck. They were like, hey, here's what Shit. it should be, and they told me the thing. Who was the person? Let's backtrack. What well, were you I doing? I didn't even know what the person was. Were you was. clothed or not clothed? I was streaming. They were, in there, uh, were you wearing pants? I mentioned, like, and we probably won't remember to make a theme until the day of the show. <laughs> yeah. Someone said rom-coms. I think we've done rom-coms. We did rom-coms, right? yeah, yeah. Those were done. Right. Mm. I like the movie. Let's see that, that we Oh, 80s up. hair bands. 80s hair bands? Done. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, next week's Photoshop challenge is 80s hair bands. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be great. Yeah. Uh, composite any of the kind of funny crew, all the kind of funny crew into anything 80s hair band. Could be Motley Crue. Could be, uh, I, I guess Guns N' Roses is not really an 80s hair band. Poison, sure, why not? Uh, uh, remember, tweet your submissions at kind of funny vids with the hashtag KFAF. Um, Barrett, I'll start accumulating those right now. John, start working right now. I've got an idea. Yeah. Nick. What's Let me your pitch idea? On an idea. Give Kevin, me, are you listening? Give me your idea. I've got an idea, okay? Um, a lot of our background on the GOG wall, or KF Podcast wall now, yeah. um, had sort of fan art, right? We sure. go for fan art. Is there a chance that any of these could make that wall? I mean, that would have to be like, we'd have to do a mega vote at episode 10. Mm. And what episode are we on? Nine or 10? I think this is eight. Oh. This is nine, might, actually. This actually might be ten. This, this might feels be ten. like <laughs> we're all wrong. Feels like four hundred. It's one hundred percent ten. So here's what we'll do next week, if we remember. Okay. Let's have a mega vote. Mega vote. Afterward, okay. after the Photoshop challenge, maybe, and we'll figure out which one goes on. Or you know, what actually would be a better idea. Just put the deer fan in, vote. Put the deer on kind put of the my deer, podcast. <laughs> yeah, put, put, <laughs> put the deer to the other wall. 
<laughs> maybe we'll get our heads together. Maybe we'll talk to Barrett. We'll figure out if there's a fan okay. vote we can do. Yeah, okay. We'll put it out to the audience. Look, the chat's loving Mega Vote, dude. Mega Vote? Chat's, chat's yelling Mega Vote. I don't even. I'm going to hear Mega Vote. Mega Vote. Mega Vote. Mega Vote. You're sharing something what? else. No, Nick they were. Is they, cool. Thank you, Kevin. Nick is cool. Thank you. Thank Nick. you, Kevin. All right. Uh, normally, now we'd have an ad in the show, but Tim has informed me just now that there are no ads for this week, which is great. We bring you this. It's our pleasure to bring you the first ever ad-free week of content here on Kind of Funny because you guys backed us over on Patreon and nobody uh, bought ad spots on these shows. This so week. what you can do is just go to kindoffunny.com slash store. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? That's really smart, Andy. Also, one of these weeks when we don't have ads, we should just totally fuck around with the ads. Do you want to make an ad for me right now with me? Okay. Do you want to do it? About we, what? Uh, snakes. Snakes. Okay. Yeah. God, you suck. This episode of KFAF is brought to you by snakes. Uh-huh. Hey, man, you ever seen a snake? They're real fun. You can pet them. Uh, you can put them in places. You can hide them in your pocket. And then when you go through the line of security at the airport, they go, sir, something in your pocket's moving. <laughs> and you go... <laughs> Or you throw the fucking serpent right at their faces. Yeah, yeah, right in the jugular. Right? Right in the jugular. Uh, they make great pets. They make great stews. Uh, go over to kindoffunny.com slash stews. <laughs> <laughs> go over to, True. I'm doing the ad read, Andy. Okay, sorry, sorry. Go over to kindoffunny.com slash store and enter the promo code snakes in your face. Snakes, right now. Snakes in your face. Um, if you ever need a snake wrangler, let me know, Nick, because I, you know me. I have personal experience with snakes. You're from El Paso, Texas. I watch uh, documentaries a, yeah. a lot about oh, snakes. Yeah. Blue Planet. And what they always do is like, the snake is right, like pretend you're the snake. Yeah. Pretend, like pretend your arm's a snake. Like your arm, yeah, yeah, the python. So arm's a snake. Wake up. And what, what we do, what, what snake wranglers do is they always distract it with this hand, Ooh. and it gets his, and they go, bah, oh, right there. Oh, they grab it with the and other hand? And they grab it, yeah. I would be, I would just distract with the left, and grab with the right. throw it at TSA. <laughs> and then take, put it in your pocket, put it in your pocket for yeah. later. <laughs> yeah. So do you have in your pocket? Yeah. I have to, I have to frisk you because you, you're the fucking machine that's probably giving you cancer and can see your nutsack. Yeah. It's like a dual insult to injury. I'm giving you cancer, but I'm also looking yeah. at your small junk. <laughs> you know? Something in there is moving. Yeah. Oh, go, go ahead and stuck, you stick your hand in there. They put the hand in there, they come out, two hypodermic needles and a fucking snake. Stuck to their hands. Put that in your stand-up. That's a good, yeah. that's a good joke. Yeah, the ju- the jug and cancer. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that's a good joke. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll keep that in the back. Yeah. Maybe I'll try that at a mic later. Stand up. Thanks. Everybody said. Time. I mean, Soul Porper says I'm sold. Snakes in your face. Snakes right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got two pockets. You got two snakes. <laughs> you throw them in your yeah, exactly. faces. Well, because if you if referral code, if you uh, get new members in, you get fifty percent off the other snake. Yeah, kindoffunny.com yeah. slash store. Use the promo code Snakes in your face. Yeah. Snakes mm-hmm. in your face at checkout and see if it does anything. None of that works. It'd be amazing if they actually, someone from RT was watching this, oh, like, oh, we'll just do a promo code for like 5% off. No. There's no Snakes in your watch. face. There's no chance they watch no anything chance. we do. No yeah. chance. We're on Rooster Teeth. Yeah. They have no idea what we do. I don't even know if they know we're on there. We could tell everyone to stop watching all, all content on Rooster yeah. Teeth and they would not know. Oh, yeah. No or, and no one know. would listen to us because they're way more popular than we are. Nick, I'm really excited about this next bit. Are you? All right. You 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 fought for it. I fought for it. You made a compelling argument yesterday when I said we we're a little light on the content for the show. What are we gonna do? You yeah. said let's do an all sorts of sports. Kevin, all sorts of sports with Andy Cortez. Wow, Nick, what a week in sports news we've had. You come to me for your unbiased sports news. I really do. I'm going to play it fair. I play it fair regardless of what teams I root You're, for. They, they, say, they always say. Yeah. You are the most fair and balanced person exactly. here. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And I, I look to you Unemotional. specifically to just give me the facts. Yeah. Give me the facts. You want to hear news from all over the, the league of sports? That's what I want. And I'm going to give it to you, give all right? Give it to me. Fair and balanced. Uh, Spurs beat the Mavericks. Great game. Fair and balanced. Great game, dude. Fantastic. Dallas Fuel had a great win over the Shanghai Dragons. Yeah, boy! Burn blue. Burn and blue. Burn blue. Burn blue. Burn blue. Burn blue. Um, 
the the sorry ass New York Giants traded their best player. <laughs> you stupid, you idiot! Are you kidding Why me? Why are you dumb? He plays for the Browns now. Oh my you god! Let him go. Nobody has a color. What is up with that, dude? Nobody wants to get behind a color. Go Cowboys! How about some Cowboys? Right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> dumb what, ass what ass. else happened? Um, uh, that's about it. I'd say that's about it. Uh, those are the trades and stuff. But you guys want the meat of the product, so that's what I that's what I'm here to give you, man. Well, there you go, Andy. Yeah. Uh, that's all sorts of sports, sports ladies news. and gentlemen. Uh, Kevin, if we were playing a song, we can stop playing that song now. Cool. Uh, listen, everyone. This is a great show so it's far. It's been great. We, yeah. We're crushing it, guys. Mm -hmm. Good job, everyone. Uh, to celebrate how awesome we are, yeah. we're going to celebrate something else. We like to celebrate things here, mm -hmm. okay? We celebrate, we, we are very open and fair and, and loving people here at KFAF. I take a look at the calendar, Nick, and I'm and you like, say, what can, we, what can we share with everyone? What are people out there talking about right now that we can go out there and celebrate with them? I and bring more, uh, bring more, uh, uh, you know, v uh, l the fuck is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> bring more attention to the holidays. cause. Holidays. So today, <laughs> we want to sell, it's National Pancake Day. This week, yesterday. probably today, maybe yesterday. yesterday. Cool, Pancake doesn't day. matter. We we record every, we're in the fucking ethos. You're gonna watch this week from now. You're gonna love it. Yeah. So without further ado, we wanted to go to the birthplace of pancakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the place where pancakes originated, the International House of Pancakes. Check it out. What's up, Pancakers? I'm Nick. Yeah, I'm Andy. And today is National Pancake Day, and to celebrate that, we are going to the one and only International House of Pancakes. It's kind of like cocky for them to call it the International House. Do they have them in other parts of the world? I don't know. I have been to at least two other countries. I've never once seen an International House of Pancakes in either of those places. Kevin, do they have the International House of Pancakes in Peru? See, there it is. Yeah, let's go, let's go eat some pancakes. All right, let's All right. get into it. I'll tell you this, Kevin, all business today. See, look at him. Yeah. Can't, you can't move him. Yeah. You can't move a he's, stone. He's like the soldiers in uh, in the UK. He is like the all soldiers All those soldiers, when they stand around, they, they stand don't react. The, the ones that protect the queen. Yeah. Does that mean I'm the queen? I don't think so. Is Kevin the jester then? Kevin used to be the jester, but he's all serious today now. Bun no, buttoned what's up, happening. collared up. He came in a suit, and he was down. like, we're not Tied going up. to goof around anymore today. I know. We're on a schedule. I said, Kevin, we have 35 minutes to get to the International House of Pancakes. Do you think we could do that? And he said, that's not how time works, Nick. But you know why. Kevin, are you on a diet right now? That's what it is. It's Damn the diet. It. I asked Joey to bring me um, goldfish crackers today. I said, but I made this, I made this? Well, if I said, hey, goldfish, and I did this, what would you think? Like a fucking bowl. I put him in a bowl, right? Right. Joey looked at me, Crystal nodded, ball. Crystal ball. nodded, just brought me the raw package of goldfish like I'm a caveman. Did you eat them still? I did. Okay. I sure did. Stop like, we movies. get it, right? Like, like, stop making movies, Marvel. You've, you've impressed us, right? I feel like this whole, like, 20 minute, 20 movie run of them has just been them trying to impress us. A little try hard. Like, okay, oh, try hard. you can do it. We get like, it. We get it. You guys make awesome movies, yeah. 22 of them. Like, why are, you, why are you rubbing it in DC's face? Yeah, like a little too cocky, right? Like a little, like, fucking, why are you flexing? Yeah. Marvel. How about you make a, I don't know, a different type of movie? Maybe like a rom-com. How about you have a whole, like, section of your business that makes, like, animated movies or something like that? Like, that'd be cool, right? Or, like, movies about space battles that don't revolve around superheroes. That'd be cool, too, right? Like, people would love those. I guess that's kind of exist already. Look at this dog. Look at this dog back there. Back at the dog. Back at the dog. It's hard to see. Trust me, there was a dog there. <laughs> and it okay. was. It was. Special. I mean, I can still see it from here. Can you? 2020 vision. I was driving. 2018, I might say. You have 2018 vision? I don't know. Is that that's a thing though, right? Looking for some I hop baby this evening. Looking for some I hop baby tonight. I saw Wayne's World over the weekend. Wayne's World 2. Yeah. Um, one of the rare instances where the sequel might actually be better than the first one. Wow, I Wayne's agree World with you, too. Nicholas. Chris Farley, excellent in Wayne's World too. Unbelievable. Whereas, whoa, man. Yeah. A lot of guys. I'm gonna go pick back a there. fight. Is this the one where he has the where he talks in Mandarin to the dad? Yeah. That's uh, the blind guy from Balls of Fury. Yes, yes, yes. Freaking love him. Um, it, it's the one where they're like, uh, we have to go to London then, 
And then like, wow, who would have thought that Paramount would spend all this budget on it? And it's like a toy airplane. And they're like, surely they'll use us in shots and not body doubles. And it's just only from the back view, like two people that are clearly not Mike Myers and Dana Carvey. Right. <laughs> when Mortal Kombat 2 came out, as a dumb kid, I was like, Mortal Kombat 2 better than part one. Yeah. Just because I was a dumb kid. Turns out both of them. No, good well, part two is really horrible. Jurassic Park 2, Lost World, I also thought was a better movie than part one. Until, <laughs> un, until I went through puberty, until I went through Were puberty. Were you dropped on your head before that? I had to go through puberty, relax. Here's what I'm gonna say about Wayne's World. I feel like it's ripe for somebody to redo that. Like two handsome, young, like vibrant, buxom, athletic, vibrant, young internet influencers built, built. maybe should do a show like that again where they just kind of nothing like not necessarily in the content but just in the set they sort of like steal that idea I mean I think the day will I think the day will come I think you're sort of seeing the future I'll tell you one thing right now if Christopher Walker wants to bang your, your yeah. girlfriend he's gonna bang your girlfriend and he like walked in dancing or whatever and they're at the club and he's like rubbing up all on her and he like points at Wayne like hey I mean and, and they kind of wave have... back but it's like he's rubbing his wiener on your girlfriend I would have I would have been like, this is it. I got, no, I got nothing. Christopher I can't do anything. <laughs> what if we got? What if we threw a curveball to the pancakes and just got waffles? No, we have to get pancakes. It's International Pancake. It's not International Waffle Day. Is it actually international or is it National Pancake Day? It's international. Well, it's yeah. International House of Pancakes. Right. Hey, it's Mr. Pickles again. Miss Pickles! Kev, uh, Nick, I, I want you to know this, that when you made that reference in the last video, yeah. there was one single comment that said, who the fuck is Mr. Pickles? So you were the only one who got that reference, and we drove around. We did a whole U-turn and made a whole to-do to get Mr. Pickles on camera, and nobody understood it. That, is this the IHOP? Are we at the IHOP? It why is this not. guy? Why is this guy bullying me out of being able to come into the IHOP? Because it's a one way. It's a one way. Oh, okay. Long, long, sorry. Run, one way. On that one. Sorry. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the International House of Pancakes. Now, if you're in any other country other than the United States, you probably don't know what this place is. Every International House of Pancakes in other countries, that's the U.S. Embassy. A lot of people don't know that. Hello. Hello. They look like uh, penguins in movies. Look at them. Look at if you look at it. Cartoon penguins. It just gets like a. Uh, it's like when me and Kevin look at the carbs. We just go. Uh, I want. And all the liquid sort of seeps off uh, of the edges. Uh, yeah. So what are you feeling like? What are you gonna have here, Andy? Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of thinking like either chicken tenders, maybe shrimp, doilies. It's a doily. Doily. Look at this is a doily. 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 Yeah, that's wet. D o l i l i. D O A L I M C capital D O L McDoily <laughs> fish and chips. I think so. Sounds good. I think. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. The All menu. Over Kevin's. Look at his. Look at him. He looks like he peed himself. Okay. The menu is way look at, harder. Sop it up than with I the thought. doily. Sop it up with the doily. Oh no. Oh no. Why is it a little <laughs> outside thing? It's a little sewer in here. I'll tell you what, for Diet Pepsi, this is really good, Andy. Yeah? Yeah. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, those are mine. Thank you. It's okay. That's on me, guys. I mean, look, eventually. That one's on me, dude. She'll bring you another Diet Coke at some point. That's refreshing. A little brain freezer. A little up here. Yeah. A little freeze to the noggin. A little noggin of Japan up here. Okay. We are excited to order. Uh, we're going to order lots of stuff. Do you have any mozzarella sticks? Okay, wait, before I order that though, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do this Colorado omelet. That sounds good. No peppers though, no peppers. And then, what are you gonna get? What am I gonna get? Um, I'll do the, um, you know, I'll do the fisherman's platter, please. Comes with shrimp, right? All right, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, did you want another diet Pepsi? Or? Yeah, I guess like she was walking out. Oh, she's gone now. Can I get a? Great. Oh yeah, oh, look at this. Like that. Look at this. You ever met a mozzarella stick you didn't like? I haven't. This one's name is Fred. Hi, hey, Andy. Put me in your mouth and me pull, pull me out later. Kevin, look what I'm doing here. Kevin, look what's happening here. Wow, oh my god. Kevin. Kevin, this is a good food stick. Kevin, you want one of these? I am a little bit worried about my... Um, oh god, oh god. Lactose intolerance? Yeah, you'll be fine. There's not real. This one is fried, it doesn't count. Oh, here we go. That's here's mine. Thank you so much. Right there. 
Yeah, those were mine, I think. Yeah, thank you. A little hash brown action. Is it cool if I ask for another thing? Uh, yeah, you, if you give me a refill, that'd be great. Can I get a refill diet? Thank you. Perfect Denver omelet. Oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you. So what'd you go? You got shrimp? I got a Denver omelet. It's really good. What's inside of the Denver omelet? I think it's like um, more omelet. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. Was that mine? What? I'll take it one day. Yeah. I got some good shrimp, some good fish, I got some good nice fries. A little omelet here with a lot of good protein on there. And it's a couple Super of good excited. buds just hanging out. You know what? Good it's times, great. good food. Yeah. Happy National Pancake Day, man. Happy National Pancake Day to you too, man. Do you guys actually order pancakes? Wow. That's the way the pancake crumbles. No, what's funny is people in the chat were like, if he actually spilled that on accident, it's just, it's even funnier. And you did. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. The weight of the menu was heavy. It's a heavy ass menu. And you, I think it was just a little too much for your hands. You're a baller. Your hands are delicate. You're only used to the the five, the two pounds, the two pounds of the ball. Nothing else matters. But you also forgot that your drink was behind your menu. And so what happened was, as you started, you tried to put the menu down. It just the sheer centripetal force of it. Yeah. The sheer not not even centripetal force. I felt just the force of it catapulted it onto Kevin's lap. And we all felt bad. Yeah. And you claimed to have felt really, really bad that I Kevin felt got, terrible. Kevin got soda all over his. I pants. almost, I almost, uh, I almost stopped the bit. You almost didn't take no, photos of him, didn't. but you made it a point That's to take. That's not true. You, he immediately yeah. pulled his phone out and laughed for like thirty seconds. There's no video proof, though. Yeah, yeah, there's no video there proof. Is. We can't find no. it. He did the thing where he couldn't breathe, so he was laughing so hard. <laughs> the whatnot says, "Kevin, Kev, wet, wet." <laughs> <laughs> Bad. I felt so fucking horrible, and then I was like, "This is kind of golden." It's now. golden. But I wish we had I gotten a little bit of so footage bad. because it was just all centered on Kevin's crotch, and it felt none of it. it now, Kevin, in to Kevin's credit, pushed the gear out of the yes. way as the tidal wave of Diet Pepsi <laughs> was just, and yeah. it saturated him, and he was having a bad day already. Yeah, like I could tell he was tired already because yeah. he was like, "I don't want to do this." Yeah. I wasn't having a bad day. You guys were just being real annoying. <laughs> That's what we do. Heard it both ways. Yeah. Hey, Heard it both ways. Burn blue. blue. Yeah. And poor Kevin, it was like insult to injury. He was like, I don't want to be here. They're yeah. annoying the shit out of me. And it just <laughs> gushed onto his crotch. I felt so bad, dude. I, I apologize You profusely. legitimately felt bad. I, yeah. fe- I felt bad, too. I apologize profusely. And the, and we made we gave her a good tip, because I could tell that she was kind of getting tired of our bullshit. I kept asking her. Well, I had to ask her a couple times for the mozzarella sticks just to set it up right. And she was like, yeah, we fucking have mozzarella sticks, dude. Now, We're an IHOP. Part of the bit. <laughs> Did she not bring me that Coke on multiple occasions? She just ignored me. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, after after you spilled the Diet Coke, it seemed like we like she was like, "That's your one." Oh yeah, these kids are fucking around. Or yeah, something. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, That's the vibe I got too, Kevin. <laughs> no, get out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, we left her a good tip. Uh, she was. They were great. Uh, and I, I want to. I do want to give a shout out to everyone in the chat that's saying, "Hey, we have IHOPs in Canada." Uh, and we're a different country. They're also all over Latin America. They're yeah, like half all a over in the Middle East too. I've never seen them. Mm-hmm. Okay, first off, a b Canada. Come on, let's be honest. Are you really a different country? <laughs> oh, kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Giants or whoever that team was that you talked about earlier. Uh, New what was York. It? What was the Knicks? New York Giants. Yeah, fuck them, right? <laughs> They're dumb. Canada's dude. cool, actually. Canada's Rush. pretty dope. Rush. Rush. Uh, 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 Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Gave us Deadpool. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Canada. Um, uh, You made Greg happy when you gave us Jen. She's still fighting to get back. That won't let her out. (laughs) Once you're in, you can't get out. Gun violence. Oh, oh my God. No? Why would you do that? Well, I just, we, 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 because we, we, our borders are protected by guns. You can't get out. Let's just end Once you're in. Jesus, let's end the fucking show. Battle Royale. <laughs> We're just saying words now. Pop collar. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Pop collar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. You're a fucking uh, one. This oh, has look, been a great. Look at all the IHOPs. Syria and in there's Yemen. IHOPs in the Middle East. Good for them. Uh, yeah, I just said that like a minute ago. Oh, well, do we have any in sorry. Spain? I'm gonna search like the. Yeah, let's let's check up there in Europe. No, no, I'm no. flabbergasted. As Greg would say. Let's look in Latin America. All right, really? while you're doing that, let's let, let's not look in Latin America. Let's. Round this show out, as we all traditionally do, 
uh, with uh, your opportunity to be a part of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, if you back us at patreon.com slash kind of funny at the bronze tier above, you can ask Andy questions. And right now, we're going to go into that. Here's Ask Andy Anything. Ask Andy Anything. Kicking it off. Caleb from Virginia says, just like Andy, I hate being productive. What are some ways to be even less productive, especially at work? I'll smoke a lot of weed, dude. Yeah, just smoke that weed. Bring in tons of blunts for everybody. And it's one of those things, Nick, where when you're smoking weed, right, you're smoking, you're just toking it, right? Yeah. You're toking it left and right, and your boss walks in, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, you get mad at you, but it's like that thing you do at work when you're gonna be late, yeah. and you make sure you bring in donuts. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Your, your you bring your like, boss to Starbucks. You and you're like, toke it with me, boss. That's and what I you go, gotta do. Ganja man. <laughs> I, guess, I love it. I guess so. Is that trading places? I don't know. Oh. I just say things sometimes. Yeah. And I don't think about yeah, how horribly offensive trouble. they're going to be. Yeah, uh, I will also say this. I'll add to this, Caleb, from Virginia. You can do what Joey does if you want to be even less productive and just watch streamers and then all day. And then when I go, hey, Joe, what's, why are you watching that streamer? And she goes, it's for um, research. Because mm -hmm. so we work with people. This? And I go, I don't, I can't tell if she's, kidding with me and I also don't have but I don't have the education to know if she's like fucking with me or yeah, not yeah so I just go, I, yeah so I just go cool good job yeah and I, I kind of metaphorically pat her on the back yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually touch people anymore though Kevin told me That's to, a lie. to stop You're doing it you're still touching me yeah you still all do the time tickle him tickle him where is he where, where is, is he where is he where is he where is he is he gonna go Kevin 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 Hey. 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 All right, the next yeah. one. Kevin's Lexi Gunner says, hi, Andy, I'm dealing, I'm having dental surgery this hey, week. Lexi. Nothing serious, but they want me to go on soft food diets for a week after. What are some of your favorite soft foods? Uh, <laughs> Joey just appeared, she's like, Joey fuck you. Appeared. Joey's been buried under a mountain of shirts mm -hmm. all week. And I just, I take it at that point, I'm like, this is how you get stronger. When you're at your weakest point, someone picks on you. My favorite soft foods, Lexi. Stay I right go there. with sweet tarts. Mm -hmm. I go with nerds. Um, I go with. Those are really hard foods, Andy. Really hard foods. When you suck them a lot. Yeah. When you suck them off a lot, they they get softer. Oh, they get, they, they get they get creamier in the mouth. Got it. Yeah. And you you absorb all the endorphins. Cool. And the nutrients. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's my advice, Lexi. Take it for what you will. Uh, first time ever on the show, we've got Joey Noel. Joey, what's going on? What's happening? What's up, Joe? Hey, Joe. You're the literal worst. <laughs> <laughs> He's a horrible human also, being. Also, get your own damn goldfish. <laughs> Did you ask for goldfish? No, remember in the bit, I was like, I asked for a bowl of goldfish, and Joey just plopped down the fucking oh, container, yeah, flipped right. me off, and walked away. That's what you get. And I was dude. like, give me a bowl, I'm not a fucking animal. That's what you get. And then I proceeded to eat directly you out of it. You still ate it. You still ate it. Like a horse. From a trough. Like a dumb <laughs> fucking lazy horse. I was just That's like, what you are, dude. Ah. That's what you are. Next question comes from Thanks Vitz. For the question, Lexi. Vitz Patel says, I would like to ask Andy, uh, quote, how should you go about writing a dating profile? What's your ideal dating profile, Andy? I mean, you helped me with mine. I did. You helped me with my dating profile. 100% dogs. Yeah, nothing but dogs. You wanna have a lot of dogs on there, just from Google image searches. If you have the watermark on there, mm -hmm. even better. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because they know that like, oh, he's stealing these images from the internet. He he's a cares, professional. Yeah, he cares about this sort of, yeah. uh, about this image of himself. In the bio though, that's what you helped me out with a lot. Yeah. You helped me a lot with the bio. And what did you help me out with? What I said in the bio specifically. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long week. Yeah. We gotta get, we gotta muscle through. <laughs> what I said in the bio specifically was here. Completely lie. Yeah. Lie about your height. Lie about your age. Yeah. Lie about if there's a, a line for D size, put eight. Eight to nine. Put eight to nine so they don't think you know, like there's a range depending on how excited the weather they make you. I will also say this. Season. When it comes to your profile picture, here's here's a pro tip. And Kevin, back me up on this one. You get in a bathtub, you take all your clothes off, you pour puppies on top of you, and it's just you in a bathtub with nothing but puppies on you. And it's just, you just see your face, and maybe one nut, and then see, puppies. I knew, I knew just, it was gonna go there. Yeah, just I, one I nut popped out. You were tickle moments him. away tickle from- yeah, <laughs> there he is, tickle him. You know what he looks like? He looks like that Diet, Diet Dr. Pepper commercial where it's like, sit little sweet. You know that, that character? I don't know that character. Maybe no. I- I got it, I know it. Thanks, Kev. You know? Last question comes from TL Josh. 
Hey, Josh. Says, I'm going for a job interview at my dream company, but mm -hmm. it's at the opposite end of the country. I don't have much travel experience. Andy, got any tips for traveling and nailing the interview? Ooh. Can well, I answer this one for you? Sure. You can answer the travel portion, but yeah. as far as nailing the interview, you can do what Andy did and just say no multiple times. Yeah. Say no like six to seven or eight times. Like we offered you a job here. Yeah. And this was your response. Uh, I was like, uh, and then two months later we're I like, hey it. Andy, did you uh, want to give us like a firm answer? And yeah, you're like, I appreciate it, but. I'm gonna talk yeah. to Rooster Teeth first, see if yeah. they are interested. I just like working here, they have free snacks and they play yeah. this thing called chair ball. And then they're gonna ship you a chair that destroys one of your walls I multiple just times. Destroyed the wall. The I, chair got got destroyed too. I got a tweet recently about when are you gonna have chair ball on KFAF? I was like, that's a great idea. Great idea. That's a great, great. idea. Do we have to no. fly to Austin to do it though? No, we do it here. Oh, you be gotta more be fun careful there. where you're throwing these balls and what you're bouncing around the set there. You know what? Yeah. Kevin's right. We don't have anything. We should go to Kev's house. To yeah, do it. that's a good I point. Should do that's it in Kev's room. Point. As for traveling to old Josh, I was racing the whole time here. Like a lot of people don't know that. Like it took me, I think, you 22 hours really? to get from Austin here. Um, just, uh, just nonstop racing. One tank of gas. Uh, it was really scary towards the end of it. Wow. A lot but, of people say if you're going really fast, it eats up the gas faster. No, that's actually not true. Wow. Yeah, because your car's like, you know, <laughs> it is like that. <laughs> it is like, like that. Oh um, yeah, you know, I gotta get there quicker. You know what I mean? yeah, <laughs> your yeah. car is just—it's on there. It's it's, yeah. it's thinking. The, the neurons are firing. It's like uh, the, the band in sync. The, with the fucking robots. Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. And you Pacific and, Rim, me too. Me and my Civic became a Pacific Rim. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that was Ask Andy Anything, and that was your episode of KFAF. Thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, you want to be a part of the show? Kindoffunny.com slash Patreon. Be a bronze member. Ask Andy Anything. And again, I say for the 10th week in a row, you can ask him real questions. I will actually give you real advice on here. But... You don't want to do that because you like screwing with me. You know what? Game respects game. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, game is respects that what you game. Want? Is that what you actually want? We don't yeah. know. Kevin. I want them to ask I real can, questions, I can't Kevin. Tell. I real can't questions. Tell. Real questions. So you haven't given real responses. Maybe we'll start. <laughs> like to the real question of the dude traveling, you'd be like, "Hey man, plan for an extra day. You know, maybe get there a little earlier, explore, get comfortable." Oh, Take a look. Where to go? Bye, everyone. Oh wait, we gotta do the thing. We gotta do the end. I'm Nick. I'm Andy. You just been AF'd. You couldn't do the lights go. <laughs> <laughs>